Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some more Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and a welcome back to some more Realm of Thrones, the Game of Thrones modification. And today, we're going to be diving in and doing some more player switch mod and playing as the Golden Lion himself, Tywin Lannister. And the objective is going to be to push north, invade the north, and bring them goddamn northerners to justice so we are of course also on the a brand new update as well so this has all the new additions to the mod itself again one of the things i always have to bring up is because it just looks so goddamn beautiful is the brand new textures that lemmy has added across the map the map just looks so incredible they've done such a great job with improving this and it's just really impressive to see the actual level of detail these campaign maps can get to so of course we are going to switch over by pressing the delete button with the uh, player switch mod on and we're going to find of course the lannisters and then we're going to play as tywin and then boom just like that here we are tywin lannister the golden lion it's going to be pretty interesting i think but shouldn't be too difficult the lannisters have probably one of the strongest armies in realm of thrones just mainly because of their unit troop tree so not only do we have just a very solid infantry line like this infantry is decent they have good enough armor uh, they also have very good kind of basic cavalry but the strongest thing about the lannisters in realm of thrones is this their noble troop line they have some really good cavalry again it's not the best cavalry it's not going to smash down the veil horsemen i think even like the uh the crownland cavalry is really really good as well but it's still one of the upper tiers of horsemen and it's just so readily available they get access to it like some pretty very good cavalry at tier three and they can recruit it like wildly. You can go here and you can basically recruit this cavalry almost immediately. And that's what a lot of the AI lords do. There's so many castles around the Westerland. So a lot of the AI just goes around recruiting cavalry, which means their army is made up of mostly cavalry. And that's, of course, in Bannerlord is extremely strong. We are, however, going to go and get ourselves an army quickly before, uh, before the good old honorable Ned Stark is executed and we're going to basically just raise ourselves a little bit of an army so we're ready to go and of course we're actually going to have to go on the offense here we're going to actually have to invade the north as things are rock off so let's go and recruit ourselves some men right away we'll punch good old lannister in the head and we'll then recruit maybe another hundred i assume it's going to be probably around about where our troop limit is yeah and that's actually precisely where our troop limit is also as well uh yeah you can see as well the castle rock unit tree again you can immediately go into these golden lion cavalry and it just gets pretty insane even the base unit the guards of a rock are, are very very strong as well so nice we do need to go get some food so let's head down to Lannisport again we have a little bit of time before Ned Stark is executed and the wars are up but I basically want to be ready to go like immediately just a casual 50k on supplies but I think it's worth it an army does a march on its stomach and one of the nice things about Realm of Thrones is we'll I guess get into position and kind of maybe head a bit more north is we're not going to be at war with the Riverlands to begin with which is great and Stannis and Rennie are going to be at each other his throat so i think honestly we're gonna be able to like get our way pretty far north quite quickly before anything bad happens like of course we need to get safe passage across the twins which shouldn't be too hard and then i want to basically take like moat kaelin um and then winterfell is not that far away of course if we take moat kaelin rob's gonna come down with his horde of northmen but I think that'd be a really good position for us just to hold the line. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to push on quite nicely. And here we go. Ned Stark has just been executed for treason. The lion and the wolf are at each other's throat. Stannis and Rennie Baratheon are calling their banners to claim what they think is rightfully theirs. The War of the Five Kings has finally begun. Indeed, it has. So we are, of course, now at war with just the north. We're not at war with the Riverlands, which is going to be pretty useful because we have to fight them as well. Things will get a little bit shaky. But I think think we'll be fine so let's go and raise ourselves a nice little army again a lot of our forces are going to be pretty small should we get joffrey to come with us north uh, but i think we'll be fine we'll take some of the kennings we'll take some of the swifts we'll take of course the crackles and the rikers and then finally some of the leopards as well as i guess the westerlings that should be nice we'll let gregor kind of maybe build up his own army uh yeah is this enough is this gonna be enough like a thousand men i think it'll be fine uh i think this isn't even a thousand minutes, a thousand strength, right? So I think actually we probably should take some more. What I'm actually going to do for a little bit is I'm just going to wait at one of these villages to let people recruit a couple extra soldiers whilst we're building up because I think a lot of these guys are not at their troop limit, which is going to be pretty important. So we're going to let a couple days tick by just so we can get a couple more soldiers here and there uh, as I think we're going to need quite a few to break Rob's men because again, our army is really green. It's all going to be low tiers and this is very slow. We're actually better off just going north. I think actually, yeah, that's just way too slow. Uh, we might hit a few of them. We can't even hit the Riverlands yet. Yeah. 
let's go north. Do we go Greywater Watch and kind of make a little basin there? And then maybe push to the Flints and then kind of then push north? Or do we go like just straight Moat Kalen into like White Harbor and Winterfell? I think we're going to need a base of operations. So I'm going to go Greywater Watch. It's a little bit further out the way. And I think we can kind of take that and then we can call up more reinforcements will be a good idea. Also, if anybody else in the kingdom does form an army, I should be able to then tell them to do stuff with the uh, with the uh, the, mod, the other mods I've got on. I will also as well stick my mod list on the screen already, I guess, so you guys can see everything I'm using. It's a really small mod list, nothing crazy, uh, nothing that mad. Okay, here we go. We are entering into the Northern Territory. Greywater Watch will be under our siege very soon. And I expect Rob to react to this uh, again rob doesn't generally leave the north too much however i did notice when i was playing as the starks and i was doing a rob playthrough like i'm doing with tywin now as soon as i took harren hall everyone started coming south so maybe that's what the dev devs need to actually do is they need to go and set up a like just give them a castle down south in the riverlands or something and then maybe that might encourage rob to actually come down south okay so we have enough trebuchets built up but we should be able to make enough breaches and uh, obviously crack the artillery again i am kind of playing quite cocky because rob is probably on his way with a very large northerner host but i think on the field we'll be able to defeat him i mean i say that we don't really have tons of cavalry like yet as soon as people start to upgrade we're gonna have tons of cavalry and just be able to ruin everything but we, we have a lot of infantry right now which is gonna be good for these sieges of course but for everything else we're gonna probably struggle also i don't know why the walls of great water watch are over here but hey they are they are over there so that's fine with me okay the walls have been breached we have the artillery raring to go so let's see what our lannister men are made of this is the time for the men of castle rock to finally prove their worth see what they're made of and earn their keep also this is a default bannerlord settlement but it's actually really nice for like great water watch like i feel like the northern settlements are actually very very nice the artillery is a booming in we're of course playing as tywin look at that sword as well that he has unreal it's kind of a bit more fantasy with like that hilt but i'm sure it's gonna do plenty of damage right boys forwards through the breaches the northerners shouldn't be able to stand be able to break through this quite quickly and i'm really looking forward to them adding tons more maps so they've recently added in i think about two three with dragonstone being implemented but yeah I, i'm really excited for them to start adding in just more of these custom settlements and stuff it's gonna be really awesome once they all get added and we actually start fighting on like proper custom game of thrones maps i think it's gonna make sieges dramatically harder like the siege of dragonstone is near impossible unless you outnumber them massively it really is uh, i'm gonna kind of just go up here and try and deal with the archers and ignore the infantry so let's make our way up here i imagine this sword is gonna yeah tear through the lannister line uh, sorry the northern line i'm used to just playing as as non-lannister forces but now i am the lannisters which is good so let's make our way up here. Yes, definitely no one down here. Let's do a little jump in. Slash! Oh, almost. That would have been beautiful. Okay. Yeah, this sword does dramatically uh, crazy damage. And it's not even close. Wow. Even against armored? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. How much damage is this doing? 150 to, like, elite infantry is brutal. Speaking of brutal engagements, we've made our way through the gate. We've made our way with weir. We're pushing hard on my left-hand side as I'm taking arrow fire. And we're breaking quite up here. Hey, wait a second. We're only taking two damage. Am I on easy difficulty? Did it just switch it back? I feel like I am. I'll make sure I change that if I am after this battle. My bad. I guess it's when you're creating a custom character to begin with. It kind of does mess up. Yeah, there we go. I just made it down to get stuck into the melee, but we're already through here. This is good. This is good a little experience for our boys. We barely lost any men. We lost 100 soldiers, which is whatever. You know, it is what it is. Casualties of war. But the main thing is we've got like, what, 150 upgrades across the army, and that's big. There's going to be a lot of our noble cavalry and a lot of our other infantry. I also do like as well how, you know, at least on this map, there are some soldiers back here. Again, I always say I would love this to be like a full-on portion of the AI army and they like basically station half their force back here. I think that'd be really cool. They actually like fall back here. But alas, we're not quite there yet. But I will say, I will say that the guys over on the Dance of the Dragon mod are setting up custom sieges so that you actually fight multiple layers, uh, which is going to be really exciting. I can't wait to test that out. They're doing like a Dragonstone battle that will, you'll take part of the castle and then it'll throw you out of the battle and you'll have to reload back in for the next stage. I think it sounds amazing. And boom, just like that, the castle is ours. So a pretty bloodless first engagement. You know, the, the garrison was actually decent. But yeah, look at that, 100. That's a lot of upgrades. Do we have enough horses for this? Are we going to... Yeah, it does require horses. So how many of these guys are we actually going to be able to upgrade? 50 of them. 
I mean, we go a bunch of infantry or do we go back and just buy more horses? Um, let's do it. Let's get some infantry. These guys are a big upgrade for our soldiers. So let's do something along them lines. We'll take some prisoners, of course, because we need all the influence we can get. Any horses? Any horses? No, no horses, no food. Okay, then we're a Lannister. We don't need to take their equipment. Uh, and yeah, nice. Great Water Watch is now ours. That's uh, pretty good. We'll pillage the, the supplies, of course. And I guess we'll station our army here a little bit and just replenish up our, our losses. Okay, there you go. There's Howlin' Reed with his thousand men. Man, we were so lucky there. He could have come in at any time. He's 800 infantry as well. That is, uh, yeah, that's pretty insane. And he's going to set us under siege. Really, Howland? We have like 800 men. We have a thousand defenders. I mean, I guess Rob is also coming. And I guess he has also achieved what he wanted uh, to trap us inside. So I guess good on him. But let's set up the artillery. And the walls are breached. That's also quite a big thing as well. The walls are already breached. So our defense is going to be a little bit shaky. But let's do it. There we have it. He is instantly assaulting. I mean, again, I don't blame him. We basically have two breaches from our siege. And he has 1,300 men now. But... Like, this isn't an arm. This is like a good army. I'm going to rush to get on my artillery and just start raining hellfire down on his forces. Oh, it's a nighttime battle as well. Okay, I'll try and brighten this up for you guys. It's pretty crazy as well, just how dark everything is. Uh, so let's set up our forces then, as I do not want them inside of this castle at all. We're going to get into a shield wall right away. And we're going to just push these guys up to block these positions. Uh, as, yeah, as I said, I do not want them getting any quarter here. So let's make sure we try and organize this. Again, the AI is so bad when it comes to sieges. They really are. Uh, we don't have a gate force either. That's a little bit worrying. Why do we not have any men to guard the gate? Okay, that's fine for now. I think that's fine for now. So we're going to get up here. I'm going to have to split some soldiers off and just hope that we can delay them. With a lot of artillery, where's our artillery as well? Let's actually just pause it and have a look. So we've got an artillery piece there. An artillery piece there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I can't actually get up to this artillery because our soldiers are in the way. But that's fine. I can start stabbing away here uh, and at least start doing some damage. I want to try and get up here. Yeah, I want to get with the artillery. There's a lot of northerners here, though. So let's fight our way through here like the glorious warrior that Tyron was. Oh, there's Mira. is that Mira Reed there? <laughs> yeah, I think it is Mira Reed trying to take that Greywater watch. How dare you? Well, then, yeah, she she's done for then. We'll come around here. Yeah, there she is as well. A lot of the Northerners are trying to get around the flank, but just coming into the death trap. Yeah, the Northerners are pushing hard on this right-hand side, but we are blocking them in quite nicely. And I think so far, yeah, reinforcements have just arrived, which is good. That's going to help us to sustain our forces. We've got crossbows here as well. to we'll be able to put in a bit more invasive fire if they kind of come up on these ladders. And for some reason, there doesn't seem like they're pushing up a battering ram. We, we both saw that they had a battering ram as well, right? But seemingly, they aren't doing it. And we are pushing the Northerners back. And nice, I'm now up here, which is good. Okay, obviously, we'll deal with whatever Northerner forces are here first. Yeah, you're friendly. Good. Now I can get on the artillery, start throwing some of these rocks down. Yeah, this is going to be deadly. Tywin Lannister sends his regards. Oh, it's only one damage. Oh, these are the explosive ones. Do the other ones have the explosives? And they're not, they're not in the gate yet either. Oh my god, look at that. The Northerners. The Northerners are learning to climb. How dare they? They managed to push their way up here. Okay, I found the rocks that do a lot of damage now. It's these ones right here at the gate. These ones do an insane amount of damage. Oh no, they're starting to push as well. Okay, yeah, we need to start getting way more of these rocks in then. Because if they break our defenses, I mean, to be fair, we could fall back if we wanted to. And actually kind of preach what I've been saying. Fall back to the inner layer there. I just don't think we need to. Like, I think the lines are holding. Okay, that's, that's good damage. That's good damage across the board. Our crossbows are up here as well. There just is so many of them. There really is. I think by the Lannister line is holding. How are we looking kill-wise? So we've killed 500. They've killed about 300. But again, as we progress through the battle, I always say this. They spawn in worse troops. And I mean, so do we. But that's fine. As long as we're getting the kill advantage, I think we'll really start to hold the line a little bit more. Let's get some more rocks down here. Yeah, you can look, look at the soldiers back here. Just all peasants. Uh, they really are. And again, we're just looking to break the Stark line rather than anything else. We don't need to kill every one of them we just need to force them back and get them out of this battle uh, which i think we're getting closer and closer to doing yeah there we go i haven't visited the left hand side yet we've got more archers coming up and they are pouring in oh wow we've actually completely won on this flank okay boys then don't don't sit back push out yeah i think we push out here then i'm gonna leave them out yeah let's go 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 filter out let's push out we're gonna hunt down some of their archers and stuff i'm fine with taking this fight i'm actually gonna jump down i think because, yeah, these are all lightly armored infantry. And, again, we're in, like, some of the best armor in the game. 
Just push, push, push. I might even break our shield wall. I know it's a very good formation. It will keep us safe against a lot of the archers, but these are just northern of peasants. And this is like amazing experience to pick up right now. Oh, beautiful. The counter push, boys. Go, go, go. I am taking arrow fire, though, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Block that, block that. Yeah, here we go. We're out. We're out. If we can wrap around, and they're bringing up again more reinforcements. Look at us go. We're just running into the meat grinder. Block that. Keep on pushing. Do not get pushed down because that would not be good. Okay, we're a little bit stuck now. That's fine. We can cut down the swaves. And yeah, if we can go to the archers, I'll be very happy because the northern archers are an annoying army. Push, 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 push. Okay, shield up, shield up, sword up, sword up, sword up. We go blocking, blocking, blocking. Yeah, we are starting to throw a lot of men into the fire here. This is a good artillery shot as well. If that artillery can load in. And we have the men on the walls as well. There we go. Yeah, nice, beautiful stuff. And we are getting pushed back. I guess there is a lot of them. How are we looking on the other side? Are we broken the other side yet or not? No, the other side is still brutally fighting. Maybe I was a little bit... Oh, no. Okay. Can I fall back here? Maybe I was a little bit too ambitious. I wish I had some swarm of explosive. All right, boys. You want to try and take down Tywin Lannister then, do you? I imagine you'd be known as a hero. Unfortunately, though, you guys have no armor. And I have lots. And your, your little sticks do not protect you from my weaponry. We are being lobbed back, though. But more men are coming in here. That's fine with me. I can, yeah, these are poor weapons and I can take them, especially when you use them so poorly. There we go. And look at that, they're running, they're running, they're running. Okay, everybody charged now. Yeah, they're, they're all got the spear, the javi, the javis, the javis, avoid them. Avoid the javis, no, 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 leave me alone. Boom, okay, cleared out. I say that, they are kind of pushing now as well. Yeah, they're all routing. The javelins have kind of stuck around, though. But as I said, I want to really push in here. I want to just demolish this Northerner army so that Rob, you know, will have to come back with a lot of worse soldiers. And that's when it gets crazy, right? Because if Rob has to go back and recruit all of his men, obviously this isn't Rob, but you know what I mean. If the Northerners have to go back and re-recruit a bunch of these soldiers, they're going to be coming with, like, tier 1s, tier 2s. And all of these guys, who we've already got 400 upgrades... We're going to have a lot of cavalry by the end of this. Granted, we're going to need a lot of... Uh, we're going to need a lot of horses. So I, I might head elsewards. Oh, why am I mandily? Looking very trim, my good friend. Look at that. 106 northern prisoners. I mean, I can't feed them. So I don't know what we're going to do with them. But uh, yeah, that's good. We'll also upgrade all of these guys now. So that's, what, 27 of these upgraded uh, Westland soldiers. The men of Castle Rock. I think I just want to go heavy infantry, right? Yeah, these guys are... The pikemen are great. They do a lot of damage. Go up to the marshals and then finally, yeah, the guard, guardians who do incredible stuff. And I'm going to keep the rest of these guys for that. Okay, we're also taking a lot of casualties as well. So I might, if I can, it's going to be like, ooh, a bit risky, I think. But I might try and make my way back to Castle Rock, you know. Yeah, as you can see, our army look at the prisoners as well. Is there even room for me to stick my prisoners in? I don't think there is. I mean, we'll take a look. There's so many Northern Lords here as well. Realistically, we should try and take these guys south. But I just don't think... Yeah, I don't think we'll get them south. So we'll just stick them all in here to keep them nice and safe. We get a bunch of influence there, which is important. Uh, and yeah, we have, what, 300 men? Uh, not even that many wounded. God, we lost so many men in that battle. We really did. Um... Yeah, okay. And I think we just have to head back down south. Where's the closest? I mean, Castle Rock is so far away. But I, yeah, we just have to go for it, I think. I don't think we can stick in the north now. And we just have to hope the Greywater Watch can hold whilst we go down south. Um, Hallam Reed is still here. If I can I can probably trap him or at least push him south. Oh, I always forget as well. We're not actually... Really, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we should, maybe I have a C? How much faster would C be? Uh, I think actually we do. Like, how fast are we going now? Uh, we are going uh, 3.7 a minute on C. We're going 4.9. Yeah, so we'll take boats. I really do hope that they make it so that if you do travel by boat, 
in this. Oh, but apparently this is faster. I was going to say, oh, the Great War Watch is already on the siege. Okay, we, we, we just decided to go for it, I think. I don't like whatever would have been. I assume it's going to be like a couple, you know, at least 700 men sieging Great Water Watch. So we are just going to leave it, I think. Uh, I mean, again, we might be able to make it back, but the walls will be destroyed and stuff. But we have made it to Castle Rock now at least, uh, which is good. We're going to be able to go to the dungeon and give over the rest of our prisoners, which we will do. Uh, we're going to buy as many horses as we can and we recruit as many men as we can as well. So we'll grab some more house troops. Again, I think these house troops should cost like way more than they actually do because right now it's just so cheap. And if you're recruiting house troops, you probably have a lot of money. So yeah, these should be like quadruple 10 times the amount, if not more. This is a really cool money sink and allows you to kind of build up your army after building up a bit of reputation. I was thinking as well, they should maybe be a little bit better as well, just so it's like a, a real big achievement once you get them. But still, very cool nonetheless. Let's buy as many of these horses as we can. Are we going to be herded? That is a lot of horses. I think we'll be fine, right? I think we'll be fine. That's also 170k. We actually physically can't afford that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We are making money though, yeah. Just, 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 just. Okay. That'll be a bit better. I guess we'll get some of, rid of some of these guys. We just need war horses. Yes, they're all so expensive. So let's do that. Just buy a bunch of these dudes. 80k is fine. We're going to buy a little bit more food, I think. Yeah, a little bit more cheese, a little bit more meat for the boys. We can now then upgrade a bunch of these guys for more cavalry, which is good. Right, I guess we go back north. I assume they are going to be able to take that before we can get back there. I just don't see us making our way up. Oh, we do have an army, though. The, the Marbrands are making their way up there, though. Nice. Uh, hell yeah. Well, you do that. And then if you can obviously hold on to Grey Water Watch with that army, then we push to uh, Moat Kalen. And then we basically got the neck of the north under our command. Yeah, that will be a very, very epic. Oh, look at that. Joffrey is passing. Like, yeah, Joffrey is just passed a road toll to help pay for the war. He is truly an honorable and glorious king. Okay, yeah, look at that. So he is, yeah, they just defeated whoever's army that was, sieging Greywater Watch. They just defeated them pretty nicely. There's only, yeah, look at that. They only took like 300 casualties and they reinforced the garrison at Greywater Watch. Nice. It's good not to have just incompetent commanders. Uh, I don't think that would have been Rob Stark. It could have been Rob, though. He could have just defeated Rob in combat. I hope that, that honor is saved for me, though. We are also building up a couple more uh, soldiers in our army. We've got another, what, two or 300 men coming. So we'll be about 800. Great Water Watch is once again under siege, but the Mar Browns are going to uh, go and engage that. I guess we will head up north to try and reinforce that and help out. But yeah, I mean, so far, I think we're free for free against the Northerner Lords. So. And yeah, the, kids, the Marbrands have conquered that again. I wonder if Rob has been captured. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, well, let's do it then. The neck of the north. Oh, yeah, also as well. There we go. Cool. Sorry. Battle difficulty, I know. It doesn't really make much difference. It's not like it would have affected any of the battles, but still. My bad. Uh, again, when you're creating a custom character like that, just to switch, you just ignore it. So uh, it does reset it. So we have changed it back. Uh, let's go for a little bit of a... I guess we'll go for some, like, battering rams. And then we'll go for uh, maybe a siege tower or two. Okay, and we got 900 men now. I think it's a good time to go. They do obviously have that artillery, which is going to be a pain to deal with. But let's just push in. I mean, so far, we've done pretty good. We got that defensive siege. We got the offensive siege we're about to say moat kalen the mar browns have conquered two of the battles and uh yeah i think we're in a good situation now this battle is gonna be a little bit more bloody i think as we push on moat kalen just solely because they have the artillery and that's gonna do yeah a lot of damage across the boys but as soon as we get our positions up and we get our men in the castle they're gonna fall quickly just solely because they don't really have a lot uh, a lot in the way of defenses look at that as well we've got some king's guard with us as well uh, i'm gonna get these ladders up here myself hopefully no look at that they're trying to kill me we got a ladder up that's all that matters uh, and we'll pull up our can we uh oh yeah we can sword and shield okay we have a short sword as well nice cool let's get these ladders up then my horse my horse you can't go up there okay it ain't gonna work we got our shield to the side and push our way up. Yeah, we're getting some mashed by arrows. But there's like no one here. Okay, let's go then. Let's jump out. We'll keep that uh, sword out. We just need to kind of stay out. Okay, we're already down. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is a pretty good position to hold the line from. With the arrows coming in. We were literally getting shot from like these dudes as we make our way up. As long as I keep on pushing up though, there's not really a big enough defense here. Like... Yeah, a lot of the Northerners are obviously in such a good position here on these houses, firing in on us. But And we've also got these guys as well, back lines. But as soon as we're up, it's uh, going to be bad for them. We've also got this little siege tower, which needs to hurry up. And then, of course, the battering ram itself. The siege tower, the, the battering ram even, has just about made it to the walls of Mo Kalen. And we're going to be through that gate momentarily, even with rocks coming down, being lobbed off. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, the boys need to get through that gate. The siege tower is also going to be up here as well. How are we looking over here? There's a lot of banners. If we are making pro yeah, we're kind of breaching this. We're, we're struggling still. The archers, yeah, this is such a good position. I never should have gone this way for myself. Because of the archers up there, the archers over here, they have such a good crossfire. And this is all RBM, I believe, as well, sorting up all these custom positions, by the way. Okay, some boys are now heading their way over. Is this no one going to go through the gate? Yeah, god damn. Banner Lord CJI, man. Banner Lord CJI. It's not going to matter. The boys are going to be able to clean their way up here. But still, come on, boys. Yeah, we are just pouring into the settlement now. There's just not enough to Norman defenders to basically hold every single position. So we can... Yeah, we can just pour in. So I'm not too mad they didn't, didn't go through the gate, but they should have gone through the gate as well. Over on his left-hand side, again, the archers now all cleared out. So yeah, boom, Mo Kalen taken, even though I didn't really do much. I would say taken without too much trouble. And boom, there we go. So we ended up losing 200 dead, which is still pretty painful, but 135 upgrades. That's going to be really nice going forward. And obviously all of these upgrades as well. More cavalry, more upgraded cavalry, and also more infantry. So yeah, our force is looking good. Our force is looking really good. And of course, any loot, any horses, any food? Nope. So I think so far, so good. We've conquered basically... Yeah, we've conquered basically everything we wanted to. Now, what do we recruit from here as well out of interest? Northerners, right? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll force some Northerners to fight for us as we're here. And we're going to rest up. I'm going to need to heal inside of Moat Kalem, but I'm also hoping that the Marbrand army will be a bit more aggressive. Oh yeah, now can I command it? So Joffrey is taking Moat Kalem for himself. I think that's fine. He He's an honorable lord, so there's no reason not to. But my question is, can I talk to Damon Marbrand? I can't because I don't know him. I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to cheat a little because, yeah, he's gone all the way down south. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Just TP over to him and talk to him. And I'm going to see if I can give him orders, even though I'm not the faction leader. Sure. Yes, I can. Can I tell him to go north and siege some stuff? So I can tell him to reinforce a vulnerable garrison. I can tell him to, my lord, I know a settlement that would be easier for your army uh for your army ensure to bring you glory no there's nothing here I, oh yeah there we go okay cool so i could tell him to go to white harbor i will leave immediately if there's any superior army in septon i will abandon my mission okay cool so he's gonna go to white harbor now and we can go with him i really love that mod it's like strategic command ai i think is what it's called uh, and it's really good a mod that i think should just be in the base game like honestly it should just be here it should be like armies you should click on the army, I mean, you should be able to do all this information. It's wild, but it's not. It's not wild because it's Tail Worlds and it's Banner Lord, but it should just be in the base game. Like, that should just be a standard feature. But nice, now I can actually command this guy to, to move north. Our army is pretty battered, though. But so should Rob's. Like, Rob's armies have lost every single engagement. Oh, great, and then he disbands his army. Of course he does. God damn it. Okay, Mo Kaelin is also under siege. So we'll make our way up there. Okay, we're crossing the twins now. I'm excited. Hopefully, it'll be Rob's army sieging us at Mo Kaelin. We can smash that and then either push to Winterfell or we go White Harbor Winterfell. Yes, it is indeed Rob Stark's army. Look at that. Well, we're going to leave that for next episode. If you guys enjoy these little uh, uh, episodes where we do play as random characters and we do maybe two, three parts of them, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Also, let me know who you guys want to see me play as next. I'm kind of feeling like a Dothraki horde and we go like kill Daenerys and then we invade uh, We invade into Westeros and see what we can do with like a horde of Dothraki. I think that would be a ton of fun so if you want to see that drop a like drop a comment down below next episode we will be taking on rob stark's army smashing him hopefully at moat kaelin even though we are severely outnumbered and then we will i guess reform and then push to winterfell